In this video, I am going to discuss about how to simulate data from the binomial distribution. As you know that uh, binomial distribution is nothing but um, n number of uh, Bernoulli trials, right? So there are two parameters to the binomial distribution. One is the number of trials, and the uh, the second one is the the probability of uh, um, getting um, the outcome of interest, right? So let us take an example. Say for example, we are taking the example of toss, tossing a coin. So the probability of getting head is 0.5. So the p, we have the p value, and the number of uh, uh, number of uh, times the to toss uh, we we toss the coin is 20, right? So each trial will have 20 times uh, of tossing the coin, right? And we want to uh, we want to see that uh, how many times we get uh, success or how many times we get hits out of these 20 trials, right? And that will be the random number that we are going to generate from the binomial distribution. And we do do that for 100 times, okay? So finally we'll have 100 uh, random numbers, right? So the syntax is like this, we assign the p values and in the rand function we use the uh, keyword binomial. So it generates random values from the binomial distribution uh, uh, with the p values given and the number of, uh, you know, uh, number of times the toss is coined in the trial. When we run this, we will get a data set like this. We will uh, have the x values. So how do we interpret it? For the first time when uh, there were uh, 20 times the coin was tossed, 11 times we got uh, heads. The second time when 20 times uh, we uh, tossed the coin, we got uh, heads for 5 times. Uh, for third time, when we uh, tossed the coin for again for 20 times, we uh, received, uh, we got uh, 11 times uh, the outcome was head. Okay, and so on. So it continued 400 times. So that's how the data is. And to better understand the distribution of the outcomes, we can also uh, uh, we can also plot it out. So uh, we can use we can use proc frequency in order to plot it. And when we do that, I've already done that. So you can see the distribution of x or the distribution of the random variable. Remember, the random variable here is that it takes the number of uh, outcomes or the number of successes in each of this trial. Right? It uh, the maximum it could be like 20. The minimum could be zero because the 20 number of times we have tossed the coin. So maximum will be 20 and the minimum will be zero. And now we can see that the maximum is 16 here and the minimum is five here. So we have not gone uh, below five and not above 50, uh, 16. And some of the numbers are missing, like 15 is not there, um, you know, four is not there. So uh, and the distribution uh, look like that. And we can also have this cumulative distribution, as you can see in the second plot. So that's how we uh, create uh, random numbers from the binomial distribution. Uh, only thing we need to, uh, uh, you know, understand here is that we can change the p-value. Uh, so we can keep on changing the p-value, and the distribution of this particular uh, graph will change. So it will not be that symmetrical when uh, we, uh, you know, uh, make the p-value uh, not equal to 0.5. If you make it 0.2 or 0.8, it will be uh, the symmetry of the uh, the frequency distribution of this graph will vary a lot. Thank you.